Good morning. I wrote a poem entitled Tears of Our Ancestors in lieu of Black History Month. If you think that this poem is good, give me a like and I think I want to get it published. So please just take the time to listen. Tears of Our Ancestors. We weep for you. Yes, you, because we just don't understand how the very things we fought against are still overtaking this land. We fought hard from sun up to sundown, so that one day our black people will be able to stand their ground. You see, the struggles you endure just didn't start today. We spent years in bondage, watching as we pray. Yet freedom was granted without a shadow of a doubt, but our hearts are just sad to see how our children are taking each other out. As a black race, you're supposed to stand Proud, bold, and tall, making sure the law is upheld and seeking justice for all. Still, we weep for you because we just don't understand how we fought for equal rights in schools and guns are in the children's hands. There were times blacks and whites couldn't even drink from the same fountain, but glory to our God on high because it was him that helped us overcome that mountain. And equal education is something we asked as we prayed. But now we see the many ways how this right is being portrayed. We weep for you, yes you, because we just don't understand how our brothers and sisters came from nothing to something but choose to not help their fellow man. Tears fall heavy from our eyes as we are looking from above because one of the most important things we try to instill in you is how to show each other love. Don't you know there was a time... Blacks couldn't even ride a bus. Now it's hard to let your brother borrow your car without putting up a fuss. We weep for you because we see our work being taken as a joke. Do you not understand there was a time blacks didn't have the right to vote? You sit and complain when it just don't make any sense, but it's our people who helped elect those presidents. Yes, our children, we weep for you because we sit where you are today. Praying to God to overcome obstacles that you no longer have to face. We, your ancestors, found the church to be our very center. Our tears are pouring because now we see our people won't even enter. God has, has answered our prayers and sent great leaders to fight for our civil rights. We cried because we marched both long days and, yes, long nights. Being jailed, hung, slayed, denied. Deprived and beat because of our skin color. Oh, my brothers and sisters, we cry because the hatred was like no other. As we continue to weep for you, we know that things are all a part of God's mighty plan. But, my black Christians, it's time for you to be brave and take a stand. Don't dare let our hard work go down in vain. Those were our obstacles. We prayed and, yes, we overcame. Now the torch is in your hand and the problems you have been made aware. As we weep for you, we, your ancestors, ask that you don't forget the power of prayer. Thank you. Please give me a like and let me know that it's okay and I'm going to see about getting it published. Thank you and may you all have a blessed day.